people out there. Sign me up. This could be the sign of things to come. Very excited after seeing that performance. What say you? Fault lines are hopping already, and we'll get to those. Enough chatter about all the practices and the line rushes. We've got ourselves a preseason game tonight. Hi, everybody. James Sabalski and Ray Ferraro ready to call the action. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Kraken have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. And now he moves it quickly to Giordano. Sends the pass over. Steps into the offensive end. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers have it from their own end. Quick feed to McDavid. Takes the pass. And he takes a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Benicek. Nice zone entry from the left. Moves it to Roberts. Moves the puck along the half wall. And now he tries to get it across to Gord. Here he is in close. Glove save made by Rodrigue. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still scoreless in this one. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Nurse has got it in the defensive end. Seattle's got the puck in the corner. Roberts will play it from the side. From the slot, wrist shot, scores! The home team's on the board. And that is a textbook start for a home team. Get the early first goal, make the road guys start to chase you. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Ray, it almost looks like one end of the ice is under siege out there. Man, they've tipped the game over for sure, and the coach is reminding the players, in particular, his youngest player, the rookie, don't take a step back. Keep pushing the play while we have it going our way. The Kraken have ramped this crowd right back up once again. Well, there's all... Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Here's a short pass to Roberts. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. On the backhand! Denied by the blocker. And he comes up with it. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. There he is from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Guy yeah, looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Here's a shot. And that's blocked. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Carlin Bay. A lot of people still buzzing about a good start to the preseason for the kid, aren't they? Great start to the preseason. And you know what? He's only one game in, but social media has noticed. Rex Ronning says, I know it's just preseason, but the kid looked good. Hashtag training camp. Do you know what a hashtag is, James? Uh, yeah, my kids are trying to tell me about it. But I... Scores! That's back-to-back, -back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. McDavid's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. 
Giordano's the key blue liner, not just because he defends so well, but because he can add additional offense. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge. Scores! Man, it can be deflating if your power play stinks. When your power play does score, everybody grabs a little bit of energy. The power play takes advantage of that extra man nicely. They move the puck around and set up a shot, but then they have to... Well, we have a moment. Let's get back down to Ray Ferraro between the benches. Well, you can always tell when you've done a good job if the coach gives you a quick tap on the shoulder. The rookie has played really well and has responded to what the coach has wanted from him tonight. Here in the back half of this period, Seattle's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Breaks that up. Receives the pass. Seattle's got him along the wall. Robert's whole game changes when he's got the puck. He's got two goals. He's looking for a third. Here in the late goings of the period, it has been a one-sided affair. 3-0 is where we sit. Puck picked up by Legesson. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. They score! This is contagious. It's contagious, and it is an onslaught. Man, this game is going to run out of control here pretty shortly. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. The Oilers have it now. Seattle's got the puck. Penalty coming up as the ref did not like that. Here comes the call. Roberts is going to get some time in the box for slashing. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Power plays run hot and cold. If you've already got one in the game, which they do, go get another. Go get another. Be humble. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Oilers have a deep hole to dig themselves out of trailing by three. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And that's deflected. Seattle's on the attack. Sends a pass over. Looks to set up at the point now. Puck grab by Roberts. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Routine save made by Vanacek. Vanacek's had a solid night here. Save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. Swatted away with the blocker by Benicek. Seattle's got it across the line. Pass back to the point. Roberts setting up against the wall. Great poke check on the reach. Quick pass to Tanev. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. And that goes wide. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Shore. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Here he is, shot right in front. Turned that one aside. Sometimes you make a good shot, and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. He was locked in there. And now it's over to Roberts. Edmonton's got possession at center. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check and makes the save. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Grabs control of it at the point. Kind of lost control. Scores! Is that momentum screaming now? Wise well, whisper, and if they can get another one, he'll start to scream here. More than half the period has expired. The Oilers are still trailing by two. 
McDavid's won the draw. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Roberts plays the puck. Moves it quickly over to Gore. And he makes the save. Can't connect on the pass. Passes the puck over to Everly. Picked up along the wall by Tanev. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Seattle's won the faceoff. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. Denies the shooter on that play. Oh, it stops him again. Let's get the call. Just trying to make a defensive play here. Pretty good position, but the stick gets into the player's feet, and the trip is going to be called. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Seattle's got possession here in their own end. Puck slid down the ice. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. The Oilers move it in. And one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who was at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Oilers are trailing in this game, and really sometimes the stats tell you the whole story. They have not had the puck very much, and as a result, they're not generating any offense. Stopped by the goaltender. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Seattle's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. The Oilers played along the boards. The Kraken have the puck in their own end. Seattle's playing it from the side. Snapper from the slot. He scores! He completes the hat trick. And here come the doors opening up. They'll come out to clean up the hats that are going to be tossed onto the ice. Three times he's been able to score tonight. He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot. Kraken have been flying tonight, and it continues here in period number three. Really been a tremendous game for them. I, I've been really impressed with them tonight. Taken by Nurse. Slides the puck ahead to McDavid. Quick feed to Bear. Sends it out right in front, and that one's broken up. And now he moves it to Roberts, and that's just out of reach. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here he is in front. He scores! Yeah, what a night for him. You think after three you might let down? Not him. They keep coming. Here we are late in this game, James, and the coach is talking to the players about how to protect this lead. He stopped at the rookie spot a couple of times to remind him that puck's got to stay in front of you. Moment of truth coming up as they try to preserve the lead. The Kraken have been nearly flawless tonight. Fair to say there, Razor? This has been one of their best games. Certainly their best in the last couple of weeks. Just going to cruise in with. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. So easy to see from here. He's so powerful. When he gets that little bit of room, he's going right to the net. He's fat. He scores. Well, it rains and pours. Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominating performance. 
Bucks having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Along the half wall with the puck. He scores! That give them some hope, maybe, kind of, sort of. They've really given up a ton of goals tonight. The Oilers have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scores out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Nurse. Handles the puck. Seattle's got possession here in the neutral zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McDavid. Seattle's top line continues to impress. James, I look at this line, and I think that's a group I want to play with. They move the puck. They think they're going to score all the time. And their play has been dominant again. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bay. McDavid's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Roberts has the puck against the half wall. Misses a golden opportunity there. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Slides it over to Hoffman. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And there's the save. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Gord's got it across the line. Slides the puck over. And now he angles it across to Tatar. Edmonton's got the puck at center. Here he is with the backhander. His reflexes on display tonight. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Unbeatable! So good. A couple of quick stops keep the puck out. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. And now he passes up to Pugliarvi. 